Hey guys, Aljad here and we are at stage 6 of the Stingray Evolution Special Event in Real Racing 3. Now, a side note here, you can do this in one service. You can do this without servicing your vehicle. So, I managed to do this. So, this is a almost 20 minute video as proof that you can do this in one bar. So, to start off, we will have a cup race. You just have to win this one in Melbourne. So this is a three lap cup race and it's pretty straightforward. You just have to win. Do note that I have 20 upgrades under the hood of this car. So it looks easy, it looks doable, but if you don't really have the necessary upgrades, you might consider doing so right now. That said, here's the rest of the gameplay at goal number one and you can skip to around four minutes and 30 seconds for goal number two. After goal number one, we go to a trio of events, but again, we had just have to win one of the following events. So on the table, we have a hunter event in Melbourne, which is what I'm going to do. Then an elimination in Mount Panorama and an endurance event in Melbourne. So I chose the hunter event since this is the shortest one and it's pretty doable as long as you race clean and uh, 
pedal hard. Basically, you just have to race clean here. I highly suggest that you take note of the braking and turning points I will be using here. I think they're pretty helpful, especially in the south bank shuffle. If you don't know what the south bank shuffle is, it's that small kink of a chicane, which is the seventh corner, and it's usually where you make or break this goal. If you are familiar with the Melbourne circuit, you can skip ahead to 6 minutes and 49 seconds for goal number 3. Next up, we move to the Mount Panorama circuit for a 4-lap cup race. But don't worry, it can be a short stint because you can either stay in the lead for 10 seconds or you just finish with an average speed of more than 110 miles per hour or 176 kilometers per hour. Now, I don't know if you have less than 20 upgrades, but... I was able to do this in under a minute so it might vary from person to person depending on the upgrades that you have under the hood but it is what it is and I think this can be doable with a 10 second uh, objective. Just remember to race clean also for the sake of your maintenance bar. You can skip to around 8 minutes and 43 seconds for the next goal or just watch the rest of the gameplay in this goal. Now for goal number four, and we have another trio of events. So we have a speed snap in Suzuka West, an autocross event in Suzuka Grand Prix circuit, and a speed record using the Suzuka East configuration. Now you just have to win one of these events and you'll be golden for goal number four. I had a hard time choosing, but eventually I did the speed snap, which I think is the shortest event among them all and yeah i think i made it just in time actually i made the cut with the first try what is important here is that you do not skid or else you will risk losing speed so as you can see here i am feathering the throttle little by little until i reach the end straight and onto the finish line if you don't have the upgrades, if you are trying to save money, I guess you can do the autocross. I am not sure how gameplay will work there, but I think that is more forgiving than the speed snap.
Now, on to the last goal, which is to win any of the three cup races. But the thing is, you just have to take care of the car, do not damage it, and do not go off track. Now, again, when you say no collisions, the game is pretty forgiving. You can survive a few bumps and bruises here, but not anything major. I did a little bit of research and the Mount Panorama and the Suzuka Grand Prix Circuit Cup races are four laps each, but what I did is the Melbourne Circuit for seven laps. Now, the reason why I took Melbourne is that it's because that the risk of going off track is eliminated, but you just have to take care not to collide with anyone else. Most especially since this is a short circuit, you will be lapping other cars who are behind you. Now, as long as you know the limits of the car and you take care and concentrate a lot in this race, I think you will do just fine and you'll be able to win this race. There are seven laps in this um, event, so catching up to the first place guy should not be a problem. Now, this seven lapper is a really long one, but if you want, you can skip to I think around 18 minutes and 50 seconds for the wrap up and the showing of rewards.
That is it ladies and gentlemen, stage 6 is done, we have one more to go in 24 hours, and yeah, um, I was pretty surprised that I was able to do this in less than 20 minutes, which is a pleasant, uh, pleasant development actually, so I can sleep. <laughs> it's 1am as I am recording this, and again, don't forget to... Uh, press the service button. I am sure that you're, you'll be in the red. And for completing stage 6, you will be rewarded with 10,000 racing dollars and I think 5 gold. Uh, yeah, there's a 10,000. And yes, 5 gold. So there you have it. Um, good luck. And I'll see you in stage 7 tomorrow. See ya.